Here at noon, a manslaughter trial now underway after a tragedy at a nursing home right after Hurricane Irma in 2017. Twelve patients died at the rehabilitation center in Hollywood Hills after the air conditioning went up. Now the former administrator at the facility is going on trial. Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos has been in the courtroom and joins us live from Fort Lauderdale. Janice and Christie opening statements started early this morning at around 9 a.m. We did get a chance to hear from both the state and the defense. The state expecting to call about 70 witnesses and play about 35 pieces of audio and video for those jurors. They hope that this evidence will show that the defendant in this case was negligent. However, the defense argues that their defendant, their client rather, did everything he could to try and help these residents. And they say he's basically being used as a scapegoat. This tragedy is easily, easily avoidable. George has been made into a scapegoat. The trial of 49-year-old George Carvalho beginning with opening statements Monday, nearly six years after 12 residents died in the rehabilitation center of Hollywood Hills when the facility lost power and air conditioning. The power outage, the result of Hurricane Irma that swept through South Florida in September of 2017. You're going to hear and you're going to see that this conduct was so negative so culpably negligent that it rose to the level of criminal conduct. The state says the fault lies with Carbio, an administrator and CEO of the center, because he failed to act accordingly, getting the elderly residents the help they needed when temperatures rose to what witnesses said was more than 108 degrees. And their temperatures were so high that they never seen anything like this before. The state says Carbio then went home. This is a case about a captain who abandoned his slowly sinking ship. But the defense argues Carbio is no medical expert with a bachelor's degree in biology and an MBA and did what he could to help the residents, going on to say he was in compliance with their emergency plan and the fault could lie with Florida Power and Light. It was a Florida Power and Light fuse on a Florida Power and Light pole on a Florida Power and Light transformer outside and off of our property. And Carballo and his staff were also criticized for not moving their patients across the street to Memorial Hospital where there was running air conditioning along with electricity. Right now, we do know that a witness uh, has been called by the state from FPNL to talk about this trouble ticket that was made, the call that was made to inform them that the electricity to their chiller had gone out. We'll have more on that coming up on Local 10. For now, inside of the Broward County Courthouse in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.